This demonstration video is part of my Tips and Tricks blog article called Using Groups Items in QuickBooks. See the full article at www.quickbooksnow.com under Tips and Tricks. It's a great way for contractors to use the job costing features in QuickBooks while concealing the details on estimates and invoices. To create a new group item, click Lists. Click Item List. Click the Item button. From the menu, click New. For the item type, select Group. First, we'll enter a name for this item. Click inside the Group Name slash Number text entry box. For this example, I'll type in the name as Install. For this example, we'll leave the description blank so we can customize it on every invoice. Let's add the individual items that will be part of our group item. Click the drop down arrow next to Item. From the list, choose the item called Installation. Let's add another item. Double click the next line. From the list, click Design. Let's add a third item to this group. Double click the next item line. From the list, click Lighting. To save our new group item, click OK. Now let's practice creating an estimate and a progress invoice with this item for a customer. From the gray menu bar, click Customers. From the menu, click Create Estimates. Let's select our customer from the list. Click the drop down arrow for customer. From the customer list, click Adam's Candy Shop. Click inside the item field. Click the drop down arrow to select an item. The group items are usually at the bottom of the list. Click the scroll bar down arrow. From the item list, click the new group item we created called Install. I'll go into demo mode for a moment and enter some quantities and amounts to populate the invoice. Here's where it gets really interesting. Let's say we want to add another line item inside our group item right above Installation. No problem. Right on the estimate form, click Installation. From the gray menu bar, click Edit. From the Edit menu, click Insert Line. To select an additional item for our group from the item list, click the drop down arrow for Item. For this example, we want to include Delivery. From the item list, click Delivery. One thing you want to be careful of when you're doing this is that your items are getting added inside the group item, as in our example. So be sure before you hit the Edit button that you're clicked on an item that is inside. To save this estimate, click Save and Close. Now let's create a progress invoice for this customer using this estimate, so we can see what the group item looks like on our invoice. From the gray menu bar, click Customers. From the menu, click Create Invoices. To select our customer, click the drop down arrow for Customer. From the customer list, click Adam's Candy Shop. From the available estimates window, click the estimate we created and click OK. For this example, click the radio button next to Create Invoice for Percentage of the Entire Estimate. For this example, I'll type in 50 for 50%. Now click OK. Remember when we set up the item, we left the description blank. Now we'll need to enter a description to show up on our invoice. To do this, Click below the very last line item of the group item. I'll type in the description, Landscape Installation as Bid. When viewing this invoice, we can see all of the details that are included. But what does it look like for our customer? Let's take a look. Click the drop down arrow next to the printer icon at the top of the invoice. From the print list, click Preview. This is what your progress invoice will look like. Of course, you can further customize your invoice template, but the point is, the details on your invoice and estimate are hidden by the group item, yet the details of your progress invoice are preserved. Pretty awesome. 